my digital planners. This is Tina Phillips from A Wild Plan. And today I'm just going to go over a very simple task that some people are asking me about um, when they get their planners. They just want to delete um, some of the unwanted months or if they're not into dailies at this point. They just want the months and the weeks. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is one of the reasons why I don't have uh, a million links everywhere um, because if you do delete uh, linked uh, pages, sometimes that could get messy. Um, but as you can see, if you don't delete any of the months and you don't delete any of the tabs, th those particular pages, you're going to be perfectly fine. So I'm just going to show you as if you didn't want the dailies, but you wanted to put something else in its place. I'm, I'm going to show you that process. So say I'm in March or I don't want any of my dailies in here. What you're going to do is you're going to look up in the upper left hand corner and look at the thumbnail area and it's the four squares. And you're going to see what page you're on. I'm on page 11, but you can kind of see the thumbnails of the pages that you don't want. What you're going to do is click the edit in the upper right hand corner of that, of that box. And if you don't want any of the dailies, what you can do is just go through. And I've been practicing, so some of these have already been kind of deleted, so I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to pick all of the dailies out. And this is also why I also give these to you at the back. So you, you, if you accidentally delete something or something, you always have it at the back if you ever want to restore that. So this is after all the months. Here's another daily. Here's another daily. Here's another daily. Uh, okay, that's now we're getting into the... So see, you still have like all of your stuff at the back here if you need it. But these are the ones that are within the, after each month or after each weekly. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to hit trash and move to trash. And GoodNotes will update all of the links. The links haven't really changed any at all. They changed page numbers, yes. But if now that if you go back to your page, look at January still there, February still there. All the months and stuff are still there. They actually follow along, so you're fine. Um, but say, okay, now I want to uh, go ahead and I want to duplicate all of my food journal ones um, throughout the planner, Tina. So uh, here's where how you, what you're going to do. So say this is the meal plan that I want to duplicate. I want to go back to edit and I want to select the page again. And in the lower left-hand corner, you want to hit copy. Okay, then GoodNotes tells you, yes, I've copied it. You hit done. Then you hit edit again, and you want to oh add a page. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> took me a second. You're going to do a plus page. This is where you want to add the pages, um, and that is in the upper left-hand corner. So then you see all these little pluses um, show up. So what you're going to want to do is go back to the beginning of your month and you want to go behind this week, you want to say paste copy pages. Okay, and you're going to have to do this for every week. Everywhere you see it, paste copy pages. This really doesn't take that long. There's only 12 months or whatever, and you can always duplicate as you go. Um, I, that's why I, I kind of give you only one page per um, per month because I, I wanted to give people the flexibility without giving them hours of work to do to change it for their needs. So um, that's, you, you just keep going and just keep playing paste pages, paste pages, and you're fine. So you hit done. Once you get them all in there, um, you can go to January, week up, and then once again, there's your meal plan. And you can just keep duplicating. This should be good for each week, so you could just do however you want to or use other inserts or even use any of the other extra pages that I give you at the back. That's how versatile this is. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff, and I'll be coming up with a new way of working uh, very soon. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.